I'd find you here. You knew you'd find me here? Yeah. <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> and I was like, well, if I was to go to one place in the center, Camel Camel. <laughs> Camel Camel, that's right, that's right. So, it's interesting the experience that you had in India um, with your connection to this Ayurvedic tradition and uh, the feelings that you had, the kind of inner process that went along with that personal um, connection with the tradition. I haven't heard of a lot of other Western people who've had such a intimate internal awakening of the Ayurvedic tradition. You know, it was, I mean, speaking in traditions of the more Eastern sense, it, it, it's in my karma. I just, I know I've lived lives in this in this type of society, doing this type of work before, even before I went to the Ayurveda, I mean, to India, I was having, you know, serious troubles living a normal life in standard society with standard rules. I think everybody does. On to further convince, after getting attached to this yoga energy, I convinced the director of the, of the, uh, um, how would you call it? I convinced like them a, to, a, a center. The center, yes, the center for the troubled you. <laughs> <laughs> I convinced the director to to let me organize and, and build a garden in the uh, outside like workout area that we had. And actually, it turned some of the most rebellious kids that were fighting the most, that were, you know, repping gangs the most, and they actually, like, got with me and, and were, you know, digging holes, plant, planting tomato plants, and actually, they actually stopped right around when we started planting. But, uh, so this, this really is the strange thing, because a negative experience got me in to thinking about India, Eastern sciences, methodologies, and just this other way of life. And that is really how I was introduced. And how did, you, how did that evolve into you actually taking the decision to fly out to India and study the tradition? For, what was it, six months, I believe? Six, six months, seven days a week. I actually ended up extending the incredible hours we were doing to doing my own projects extending my yoga times I was basically doing about 16 hours of studying and practice a day what caused me to to go out there was again just my inability to to conform to the to the way society was was driving me compelling me to be me money to go to school and I I liked health I didn't I didn't like I I, I didn't want to be in, in Western medicine I didn't want to be passing out pills because before I was the guy who was passing out pills so I, I kind of connected this negative life that had brought me so far down with with this Western medicine of let's let's give them a hundred pills and you know send them on their way and and I was like they just paid me two thousand dollars I can go to India and actually and, learn and learn something which is really valuable along the way learn something which is really valuable on, along the way so so I it actually it was very synchronistic, very, very aligned. I was actually studying Wicca and paganism and this, this type of uh, Celtic uh, earthly magic and, and tradition. And, and I, I did a ceremony in my room. I got really, really emotionally involved in it. It was a really emotional period of my life. Three days later, I got into a car accident. Wow, uh, were, were you harmed? I was not harmed. My car was not harmed. But 
there was superficial damage in which I received $1,750 insurance. With the wow. 2000 of my school, this just fueled, fueled this money I had. Two days after that, a friend, I had actually was my brother's ex-girlfriend of three years. I hadn't talked to her in, in years, but we lived together in New York when, when, they, when my brother was, was dating her. So I hadn't talked to her since I, before I went to, before I went into uh, rehabilitation, incarceration. I was in there, they broke up, then I got out, then I was going, you know, being paid for to go to school, and she randomly emails me out of the blue and says, I just visited India. I had these three experiences within one week time. The next week I bought my ticket and I was in India a month later. I dropped out of school immediately and, and I just did it. So um, do you feel you were learning a, ki a different kind of education in India than you were at school? I felt like I was actually experiencing and, and actually learning. In, this, in the classroom, I was studying and writing. Sort of learning on a more intellectual, mental level. In, in, it was on a mental level in the classroom. It was on an experimental level with Ayurveda. I was working on patients. I was, uh -huh. I was m making medicines with the plants. I was actually, it was more like an apprenticeship, which is how I really believe we learn so much stronger in apprenticeships right. than in yeah. a big classroom setting where someone's throwing out point after point after point after point. When then I was there with the doctor, helping him treat the patients, helping him prepare the medicine, and then for a few hours a day getting point after point after point after point. But for the most part it was, you know, uh, apprenticeship and, and actual practice, and learning through experience. Learning through experience, that's great. Now, we have such a preoccupation in the West um, with this idea of placebos, which is a very fascinating idea for me because um, it suggests that there's there's something separate about the body's own innate self healing self healing capacity, um, whereas in fact it's a part of the healing process. No, it's it's actually a part of the healing process to um, to to uh, for the body to heal itself. Kind of like a will an in, intent. I had I had it reconfirmed here with shamanism. They actually will use herbal medicine, will use plants, will use a, a tree resin to cure a snake bite, and it actually has anti-venomous uh, properties to it that have scientifically been discovered. But the shamans will say that it's hardly even. Uh, uh, practical to use the medicine if you don't kill the snake first and that's because you're killing you're stopping the will to harm you